it's Friday evening. I just wrapped up work and now I'm waiting for Patisha and Double. We are rearranging the living room today. Double and Patisha, they're here. The rescue, since my tennis elbow has been pretty bad. My preference is to have the couch from here to here, move it here. Then move the dresser from here to the bedroom. But when we measure it out, it's gonna be a bit tight. If I put the couch here, I was thinking to mount the TV on this side. When I spoke to the experts, they don't recommend to mount the TV. In one of the videos, someone had recommended to move the kitchen island from here to here. Patisha along with Bristy, they recommended to maybe move the kitchen island here instead. So we'll try both. Maggie, my older sister, recommended to move the two shoe racks from here to here. On this side, it did not work because I won't be able to open the drawers. Yeah, I'm holding on. You can just take it out of the bag like this. My preference was not to have the shoe rack in the bedroom, to be honest, but I have to work with the small space. And apparently this can be folded. Now I can finally move it from here and then store it inside here. This is how the living room looks like so far. Human chicken, pork dry pot. This is dumplings in spicy oil. This is wonton in spicy oil. You can see this also. Aww. Look at this. Aww. Chapa looks so cute. Happy Raspberries, yogurt. Well, so let me see what else I have in the fridge. So yeah, not a lot of food left. So I think for this week, I'll just do online grocery because it's supposed to rain tomorrow as well. And this will be my first time ordering grocery online at my new place. Not gonna lie, I'm a bit nervous about this. This is my first time painting anything. I'm gonna remove all my shoes. From the cabinets it's not a lot anymore during the move i did let go when i say let go it's still packed up over there so beside my regular storage stuff i have my shoes and clothes that i need to list it up in poshmark up there as well which i completely forgot about it it's like out of sight out of mind and whatever was for donation that's already done i didn't think about the inside if i should paint this or not so i'm just debating if i should unscrew everything and even paint the interior or just stick with the outside for now I did not think about this at all. Finally found the correct head for the screw. That was a success. It came out. I should have got those tapes to put the border around here. Even if I do like a sloppy job, it should be fine. So the guy at Home Depot store today, I had asked for his recommendations. So he recommended to get this set because you can get the brush and then two rollers. And he recommended to get these use and throw pans as well. And that way I can just place this on top of this pan. So here it says to rinse roller in warm water and spin dry to remove excess moisture. So the roller should only be slightly damp. And when I use the warm water, I end up using too much water. So now it's completely soaked. 
It's not damp. You know, I thought this would be like a quick and easy project. Yeah, it doesn't seem that way at all. My grocery is here. <laughs> I thought I had ordered small bok choys, but I got these big ones, which is fine. I got banana, avos, tomato, lemon, lemon water. I meant to get two onions. I ended up getting two bags of onions. I got eggs, raspberry, lactate yogurt, and then I got chicken thighs, salmon. We are shopping through Facebook Messenger for my sister's wedding. Her wedding is in October of this year. We'll be traveling to Nepal for the ceremony and then we'll be there for three weeks. You can't really see it that well, but we're shopping for her outfits. Well, her outfits as well as ours. What's the weather right now? It's currently raining and 55 degrees. It's raining today too. You know what? Perfect time to do indoor activities. Chape go. This is the primer. I think my brush is very wet still right now. Just on the outside. Finally finished priming it. I did such a sloppy job, especially the inside. I kind of gave up. Initially, I was doing it so properly, and I was like, you know what? No one's gonna see it. Guys, I don't think this is gonna come out good. Last time, I was being stupid. Instead of using this sprayer, I just put it right underneath the tap, so it was completely soaked. And now it's it's done so i'm gonna let the base to dry for a bit and then start with the paint i don't think so i'll be done today itself but while it dries let me start reading about the mold test because i got my mold test kit along with the air purifier as well i'm gonna use the air purifier i'll start using my air purifier only after i do the mold test I got these two. So someone actually has sent me an email and has suggested to get two hydrometer to check humidity in all the three rooms. Just uh, for the pest and then for uh, mold issue as well. So I got these two hydrometer. Outdoors, you will need one mold test kit for each area of concern. Remove the lid of the Petri dish. Set timer for one hour. So now, according to the instruction, I have to wait it for one hour before I place the Petri dish near the problem area. I have to take out the lid and then place it there for one hour and then incubate it by putting the lid. And then the result will show within 48 hours. So I place one over here on the top and then the other one here. Lately, I've been feeling really discouraged. When I first moved in, I was so optimistic and looking forward to this new life. I sold almost all my furniture and moved to a place where I don't know anyone. I left the comfort. I left my sister and my close friends and moved here. I'm so glad I switched the roller. Now it goes on more smoothly. Roller is very easy and obviously it covers larger spaces and this paintbrush is useful to reach the areas where the paint roller can't reach. So I'm gonna wait for the first coat to dry up. I think these two came out pretty well and the second coat I'll most likely do it after work tomorrow. I was really hoping to finish it today itself on the weekend because it gets kind of hard to do these during the weekday but I just want to finish it off so I think I'll just do it after work tomorrow. I got dumplings. Oh, it's hot. I got masam curry and panang curry. I'll have one of it today. 
along with the dumplings. I'll save the other one for lunch or for dinner tomorrow. Blend with the couch. It's Monday around 8:30 p.m. right now. I so don't want to paint after work, but I really want this to be completed because I'm getting so impatient to see the final product. Plus, I want to get this out of the way as well. For today's plan, what I'm thinking to do first is wear gloves. I tried my best to take out paint, but I'm having a hard time here. And also, for the mold test, it's just been 24 hours, I believe. So I need to check it within 48 hours and if there is no mold then again I need to recheck the dish at 72 hours and then 96 hours because there could be instances where there could be slow growing molds. But so far when I checked it today, there wasn't any mold. This looks empty and this one also looks empty so far and hopefully it remains the same way. And chape. And this guy is so confused with everything going on in the living room since it's such a tight space. He's mainly been staying in the bedroom where there's less commotion going on. Let's play some music. Also, I feel so sore from painting yesterday. My thighs, my back. It literally feels like I did a rigorous workout, which is not the case, but since I haven't worked out for ages, it feels that way. So this was literally like my fresh start but with all the issues one after the other and then also adjusting to this new life not just for me but for Chape as well it has been very overwhelming when i first got the keys to the apartment i was so excited to decorate and make the place as my own but in between dealing all these issues i just lost the spark but i'm not going to let all these bums deter me when you see all the diy Instagram accounts. They make this look so easy, but it's not. Even just painting this is not easy. Every time when I put the paint on, like yesterday too, it looked like crap. But then once it dries out, it does look good. Naturally, I'm a very negative person and it takes a lot of effort to remain positive. I really want to focus on the positive and continue making the space as my own. I'm so happy to finally do this DIY project. I know it's just a DIY project, but it proves that I'm capable of looking at the positive aspect of life and create things that I put my mind to. It just signifies that I can create the life I want, even though with all these bums, it's just temporary and this too shall pass. Finally done. Ow, my leg. <laughs> so I finally got done with the second coat. Are you happy that this is done? Yeah, he did not enjoy this at all. I just wrapped up work for today and now I'm just gonna pack up choppy stuff, get ready. But I think this one, I'll put it together in the next vlog. It's still not there yet, but it came out beautiful though. I had so much doubts on how the final outcome would be. Even though it's a bit messy, I'm super proud. You know the phrase people say to trust the process and to trust yourself? Yep, I completely agree with it. So now I'm getting ready to go to the dentist. Everything for me and Chape both, everything is in downtown Jersey City. Chape's vet is there, his grooming, my dentist. Before I go to the dentist, Patisha and I will meet up at the station and then Chape will go to Patisha's place. He'll stay there for a week. So on Friday, Patisha, CD, and one of CD's friends, we're all going for dinner and for a show after that. And on Saturday, I have Taylor's engagement party. And on Sunday, I'm going for a solo dinner. So Shanti just started working as a chef in a Michelin star restaurant. So I'm going there just to support her. Since on the weekend, I will be out and about. I think it makes sense to drop off Chape right now itself when I'm on my way to Jersey. Invisalign. 
and they ended up giving me a Starbucks card for leaving a review as well. I got done with the appointment within 10-15 minutes. I just had to pick up my new trays. Right now I'm heading to Patricia's fancy apartment. Hi buddy! Hi! Let's go! Hi, you just saw me buddy! Hi Patricia. Are you happy to be in Jersey City Hall? Hi! Hi! And this is Patricia's room. And this is the living room. The light looks so good here. Mm -hmm. The apartment feels so fresh. Not like mine. You can always move back to Jersey City. I'm not moving back to Jersey City. Why are we eating today? Mm. I'll see you next week, okay buddy? Before I head to bed, just wanted to give you guys a couple of updates. So I sent an email to the management listing out all the issues from the beginning, even including the issue where I got my apartment keys the day when my lease started. When I met the broker, she did give me the apartment keys, but what she mentioned to me that the lock was a bit loose. So she would request a super to change the lock and I'll get the new set of keys. She was supposed to coordinate that. The broker, who's also part of the management, she stopped responding to me after I gave my deposit and my first month rent. I texted her, I emailed her, no response. And luckily I saw Super's number on the welcome letter and that's how I reached out to him and I got the new keys. And I got the new keys the day when my lease started. Because of that, I couldn't really give a day to the movers. So once I got the keys, that's when I was able to tell the movers, I go, hey, let's move in at this date. And that was a week after. It delayed my move in as well. And I hadn't complained about it because I thought it wasn't really a big deal. And remember in my one of the vlogs, one of the move in vlogs, the power plug came out. Yeah, I put that in that email too. Obviously, along with the pest and the mold as well, and apartment being dirty when I first moved in. So at the end of the email, I have requested for a month off. So we'll see what the management says. I don't really have high hopes. And mold test, I haven't seen anything yet, so that's a good sign. So I'll keep on monitoring it and hopefully it just remains that way. So yeah, so these are a couple of updates. So I'm gonna end the vlog here. I really hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe and support the channel. Whenever you comment, subscribe, like, share, like any interaction with the video, it signals YouTube algorithm to push out the video to a larger audience. So anything helps. And again, thank you so much for all the love, support, comments, DMs, email. I really appreciate it. I've been doing vlogs for quite some time and I never had a community before. So I feel very grateful that you guys have decided to stick around and follow the journey. It feels like we are in this together. I'm not by myself. So I really, really appreciate it. If you have an Instagram, my Instagram is Tisha Shrestha and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye. Thank you.